everybody, this is Perch. In news that is surprising to absolutely nobody who has been watching this channel or just frankly understands these things, we have learned that the DC future state Wonder Woman, Yara Floor, who we haven't seen her yet in a comic, we don't know if it's going to be good or not, but it has received, I would say, almost universally positive response. People like the look of the character. They like the costume. They probably like the uh, Brazilian cut to the costume. <laughs> they like the the thighs. I, I can go on and on. They, they like the character. They definitely like the writing of the character. It has nothing. No, I'm just I'm just joshing a little bit. But Yara Floor, who will be in Wonder Future State Wonder Woman, will be in the Justice League, uh, is, is kind of this new Wonder Woman from the Amazon. In this case, the Amazon Rainforest, uh, the daughter of an Amazon warrior and a Brazilian river god, who is uh, kind of taking up this mantle of Wonder Woman for Future State, we have learned that she will, in fact, uh, have a title called uh, Wonder Girl that will uh, emerge in March. That Yara Flor, her, uh, her younger years from Future State, uh, will actually be one of their ongoing titles. And this is, again, zero, zero surprise. So she will debut in January, be in future state January, February. They'll try and get a bunch of interest in this character, being kind of an adult uh, version of Wonder Woman. But then we get Wonder Girl, and uh, this, this comic uh, comes out in March. And so, again, no surprise. I think I've, I've said over and over and over that of all the characters that are likely to immediately be part of the new present of DC in March, Yara Floor is absolutely going to be it. Um, this title is uh, written and drawn by Joel A. Jones, who is handling the Future State Wonder Woman as well. But here's the other piece of news that will also not be a surprise to anyone, is that um, in addition to a Wonder Girl comic book, there will be a Wonder Girl CW TV series starring Yara Floor as Wonder Girl, from longtime CWDC producer Greg Berlanti. So again, what do we see here? What can we take of all this? Number one, Yara Floor, Wonder Girl, brand new ongoing series in March. This is one of our first new series announcements. Well, it is our first new series announcement for whatever DC is going to look like in March. Definitely putting a lot of emphasis toward Yara Floor. Uh, introducing her as Wonder Girl uh, instead of Wonder Woman. So we're going to keep Diana and Wonder Woman, but this is this, this Wonder Girl character designed to be contemporary, appeal to a younger audience. And we're seeing Warner Media combine very closely with a comic where in a relatively short period of time, we get to be introduced to this new character in January, a couple months of her in the future, showing what she could be at some point. And then in March, we get a new solo title of her with her younger exploits, combined with a TV show that they have announced on CW. So it, it just all, all aligns. And this, this is, you can look at this and you can say, this is what we're going to see out of DC over the next couple of years. We're going to see comics uh, very tightly aligned with initiatives with the movies. We're going to see a big marketing push wrapping all this together. And, and undoubtedly what you're going to get from the comic side is take a look at the future of this brand new character that we're bringing in that you're going to love and everybody's going to be all excited about. And, and definitely this has a potential to flop hard on its face if the comic sucks. But uh, this is why I suspect they're putting a lot of emphasis and time and energy. They're, protect, they're protecting Yara Floor to some extent. If you look at the character in Future State, you'll notice that they are not having this character pop up all over the place. They're, they're relatively keeping her, I don't want to say confined, but I'm sure they're controlling some of how this character is going to be introduced and rolled out and what they're going to do because this is this is really kind of the first clear indication we're going to get of a very coordinated, very aligned DC universe um, with media and with comics. So if you were looking at basically preview art and thinking, I like Yara Floor, I like the way those thighs look, uh, no, I'm, I'm excited about all this. If this is something that you are super in, excited about, um, then good news for you. Uh, you're going to get more of it. This character is absolutely going to continue. We're going to get more of her younger, uh, probably more of her more reckless days as part of the new DC series, Wonder Girl, and a TV show to boot. So uh, what do you think? 
Are you still excited by this character? Is it too much, too fast? This is, uh, I think this is going to be, I'm going to use this comparison to drive some people crazy. This will be the uh, the Miss Marvel of DC in the sense that DC is going to just promote and shove her out center stage as often and frequently as they can. Hopefully not too quickly, hopefully not too much. Uh, save some back. Do not get uh, too intense with it or you'll risk you know, getting people taught, you know, get a natural backlash when you push things too hard. So hopefully that's not where this is going, but, uh, you know, be, be sparing, make people want it at the end of the day, and we'll see how it all rolls out. But are you still excited about Yara Floor? Are you interested in seeing where the character goes? Are you surprised by any of this? Um, the announcement of a CW show and everything else, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, stuff they're building onto this character right out the gate. I don't think we're going to see this for any of the other real characters, including what John Ridley's doing over there with Batman. I think this is this is where they're putting some bank into really believing that they're going to build a little Wonder Woman franchise here. So there you have it. Hey, if you enjoyed this, if it was good, a little bit of information, nice and quick, like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, uh, write a comment below, send me an email, do whatever you like. Most importantly, though, thanks for listening.